All right, if the speed of a car is doubled, the KE of the car is going to, is it quadruple, quarter, half, or double? That's, this is something where we need to use the equation. And we'll use the equation as a guide for thinking. We know that KE is one half mv squared. So since v and KE are both in the denominator, as v goes up, KE will go up. So if you go, if you're doubling the speed, you're driving faster. So it can't quarter, because that would go down. It can't half, because that would be going down. The question is, does it double or quadruple? So you could work this out. You could find take one kilogram and one meter per second, get an answer. One kilogram again times two meters per second, get an answer. But there's an easier way to do this. Use the equation as a guide for thinking. What are we doing to the speed of the car? We're doubling it. What number is associated with doubling? Two. So we're doubling V. We'll put a two here. And you have to be careful. V is not to the first power. It's not by itself. It's V times V. So we're squaring. Two squared would give us a four. If you put a four on one side, you put a four on the other, and the answer is quadrupled. If we were to drive three times as fast, you'd have nine times the kinetic energy. Ten times as fast, one hundred times the kinetic energy. If you drive half as fast, uh-oh, kinetic energy would go down. What is that? It would be one-half times one-half is one-quarter the kinetic energy. So use your equation as a guide for thinking. It will help you every time.